talk about a validating morning. Yet again, could barely get my fucking body to move to start this routine. First set into the jump squats, shedding fucking tears, screaming in pain and agony. It was the big one today after the three sets of jump squats to failure. Then it's the switching jump lunges to failure. So fucking painful, just dead. Literally just dead. I got eight sets of them in. Usually I do 14 to 15 lately. I got eight sets into the switching jump lunges. I started my ninth one. My legs caved on me. They couldn't fucking keep going. And then we did our side lunges. Then we did our hip raises. Then we worked the dummy, hit the bag. Shouldn't have been possible. This is why I know I'm worth the best things in life. I am worth every single fucking thing my heart desires because I can handle the fucking responsibilities that are required in order to maintain them. Because the way that I show up, the way that I live this routine, I show to myself, I demonstrate to myself every single day, multiple times a day, I'm stronger than my feelings. I will be willingly in the less optimal, desirable condition and circumstances and still pull it off, still do what's in front of me. I'll eat less, I'll do it with less sleep, I'll do it sick as fuck with salmonella, I'll do it broke, I'll do it homeless, I'll do it in excruciating pain and agony, I will fucking do it no matter how I fucking feel, hungry as fuck, I do it all. I do it all, I will always do the work. And so guess what, I can handle more. I can handle more. Once again, once again, nothing I go through today will compare to the agony and the pain that I put myself through in the past 24 plus hours. I mean, it's just, I make it harder on myself. Massive caloric restriction almost every single day, several hundred calorie deficit, almost no carbs. I just, I do more. I do more with less individuals. They need to wake up and have their coffee first thing. They need their sugary ass carbs. I do this shit straight out of bed every single fucking day for years straight. No caffeine, no breakfast, no social media first, nothing. I get right up. I do this fucking workout. And literally today, I did it until my fucking body gave up. My body gave up before my mind did. Ha, <laughs> fuck! And that, it'd be like that sometimes. That's, that's the validation. I willingly broke myself and pushed myself until I just transcended myself. I get out of my own fucking way. I get out of the way of my own fucking ego, my own feelings, and what I want to fucking do, what Paul wants. Oh, Paul's tired. Paul doesn't feel like you, Paul's hung. I don't give a fuck. You'll do the work that's in front of you. And then I just prove to myself, it's like, and then I operate through my day. I'm, I've already beat that inner battle. I keep on beating it throughout the day, but I fucking start the morning like that. And so I just don't, I don't give a fuck what happens. <laughs> that's, that's the fucking truth. I don't care, positive or negative, I'm detached from it. I'm detached from what I feel like fucking doing. I don't fucking care. What do you need me to do today? You, what is you? The universe, your higher self, your conscience, God, whatever name or label you want to put on it, what do you need me to do? That's how I operate. That's all I fucking care about. I don't care what I want to do. What do you need me to do today? What can I do to best be of service to others? What do you need me to do? That's it. You ask I or consciousness, a greater source. These individuals, they let their little feelings get in the way, but and it, it's telling you, okay, you need to work out. You need to fast. Stop drinking. Stop smoking. Go get on camera, make this video, blah, blah, and then your your little ego gets, I don't want to, and then you wonder why you're depressed and you're anxious and you feel like shit because you're choosing to neglect the call of your higher self, of your conscience, because you want to stay comfortable and your selfish, punk, pussy, bitch-ass ego gets in the fucking way. That's all it is. You're not earning your fucking freedom and right to earn that heightened vibration and be used as a channel. I'm sure to many, many people, this looks so imbalanced. I can't, 
You pushing yourself until you cry, not eating any carbs. You're letting yourself be hungry. Here's the thing though, I can handle more shit than you can. I can handle more stress than you can because I weather and condition myself by choosing to do more in the less desirable, optimal circumstances. While you, you didn't get enough sleep, I'm not gonna do it. I don't feel motivated, I'm not gonna do it. I have a cold, I'm gonna lie in bed all day because I have a little cough. What the fuck? The shit you let stop you, I fucking laugh at. I laugh at. Didn't we talk about this? You gotta sweat all that. And as we finish up, close grip push-ups to failure, making the most unsettling, blood-curdling animal sounds you've ever heard. Look who it is. Look at him. Look at him. Boop! Good. That's right, I booped you. What you gonna do? Look at him. Look at him. He's like, oh, hello. You wanna be my friend? And my second cup of lime juice and water with stevia. And for everyone who says that stevia is bad for you, that's just because you're wrong. Anytime you get stevia or anything for that matter, you always want to review the ingredients, okay? Most of these stevia sweeteners will have other bullshit in the ingredients. This one right here does not, okay? That's the most important thing. I heavily research every single thing that I consume, as should you, because... Food is very sacred and very precious to me. I don't take it for granted. And every single thing I eat and consume, I research the fuck out of when I'm fasting and hungry and thinking about food. Every single thing I consume. If you have advice to give about anything, fitness, nutrition, any fucking thing, you better have some fucking results to back it up. <laughs> I have never once in my life taking advice seriously regarding fitness or nutrition from anybody with no results to show for themselves or who wasn't in better shape than me. Period. That's right! BAM! Take them high mother fucking vibrations! Have a sexy, superb, scrumptious motherfucking Saturday. Peace. What y'all doing? What you guys doing? It's a public area. Boop. What you doing? It's a piggyback ride, okay?